It's just a little bit before 8 o'clock. Friday, February 3rd, and let's see what we have. Ooh, I would say 30, 30, just below. I'd say 31 degrees, so yeah. Beginning mileage, 39557.2. 39557.2 So we'll just tour the neighborhood here. Try to miss the big torn up places and potholes. I checked on the weather forecast and they said this is the warmest winter in the Chicagoland area since 1932. That's the last time we had a winter that was this warm, which I wouldn't be able to remember because I wasn't born yet. So I got an interesting topic to talk about if I don't ramble on and make it too long. I don't want to make it more than a 10 minute video, but uh, not that I've been really following the show, but I'm aware of it, and I've seen uh, parts of a few episodes, but that Ghostbusters show, Ghost uh, Hunters, Taps, I guess they call themselves. Um, boy, what a crack of baloney that's turned out to be. I guess this one gal has come out in the interviews. Her name is Brandy Green, I think. Used to be with the group, and... Uh, There's a lot of stuff she can't really say, I guess, because of contracts she has signed, but her basic story pretty much leaves you to believe that uh, there isn't much uh, genuine ghost hunting going on as far as, you know, them actually trying to find ghosts so much as trying to get their faces on camera. You could kind of understand that from the producer's standpoint, but I think the thing she was really in the interviews disappointed with is the guys themselves. I guess especially one of the guys' names is Grant Wilson. And when I looked him up on YouTube, I saw that uh, cheap magician's trick he did with the string in his coat, pulling the collar down like he was being pulled at. And I mean, he didn't even do... He, he could have used some training as a junior magician because he didn't even do it that well. I mean, you could see the collar was being pulled down by the string in his pocket that he was pulling on. And then he acted like, and he said he was being pulled backwards. Well, if your collar is being pulled down, you're not being pulled backwards, so. And he did it several times. I mean, he gave you enough opportunity to where you could see, obviously, what he was doing, the trick. I mean, it's, it's not even a trick most professional magicians would do as a, an act. It would be something like if you were a, maybe a teenager learning to do magic tricks it would be one of the things you do just to start learning something more in line with that actually the thing I thought funny when I would go into the living room and somebody in the family would be watching the Taps Ghostbuster thing is uh, there was one guy he was a skinny young guy and it seemed like every time a a sudden sound would happen, he'd scream and run away like a little girl, so I thought that was kind of funny, so. And I actually have watched a couple episodes of this one show, um, uh, they hunt, well, I'll just say what the show is, I mean, you probably, if you've seen it, you probably would know it's, a uh, Bigfoot, they're hunting for Bigfoot all over the place, but. I debate whether they even are, even, are taking that seriously, it's another one of those ones, too, to where people stand around at night with all kinds of equipment and stuff like that just uh, waiting for a scary noise to happen and then they look at each other and go what was that what was that but I'd be curious if you get a chance down in the comments section if any of you actually do believe do you believe there ever actually was I'm saying even going back to the times of uh, before Europeans came over any of you actually believe there ever was anything like Bigfoot or a large primate type of creature anywhere in North America? 
because I seriously have my doubts that they ever even existed, even going back to before the times of the Native Americans when they came across the land bridge in Alaska. And I think because of what's going on, these uh, reality shows are going to play out pretty fast, too, because they all seem to go with the same thing, too. What originally got me curious about them, too, is they, uh, I was reading news articles, and a lot of people said that uh, while the people on the shows themselves seem to be legitimate, which I will, you know, which I obviously... Uh, see that even being a different way um, they said there is a lot of hokey stuff that goes on between the producers and the crew the film crew so when you see a lot of these reality shows and you'll hear noises or hear banging on walls or banging on floors that's either the producer or the producer putting the film crew up to doing stuff like that just to uh, get the drama going in the shows and they say the cut shots, too, aren't necessarily put together the way you would think they are. As, for example, if somebody says something a little weird or crazy or stuff like that, they'll cut to a shot of somebody with a surprised look on their face. And uh, those shots may have been taken at entirely different times and just spliced together for the drama of the show. My main concern, actually, is really that... Uh, most all these networks that have these are, I think, owned by the same people that own the Discovery Channel and the Discovery Science Channel, and I'm just hoping they at least halfway keep the Discovery Science Channel part of it um, away from the pseudoscience garbage. I would really hate to see that be uh, turning into psychics and ghostbusters on the Science Channel. I don't mind if they do it in a um, scientific inquiry type of style, but not these uh, reality uh, chasing scary noises and bumps in the night type of shows. Not on the Science Channel. I would kind of like to keep that away from that kind of scenario. I mean, heck, this Bigfoot show is on Animal Planet, and uh, I don't know other than if you're going back to uh, way, way... Uh, ancient times uh, to uh, a giant ape like Gigantopithecus or something like that which is uh, way back before modern day human civilization by hundreds of thousands of years um, other than that I, I, I'm, I don't even I have my doubts that any type of creature anywhere in the world is, uh, resembling a a Yeti or a Sasquatch or anything like that ever even existed. Seems like they always talk about it, but they never find a body. There's these, you know, some temple somewhere in the middle of uh, nowhere up into a mountain has a tip of a finger bone or something like that, but for a creature to be that large, I mean, even if the creature was even human size and they claim this thing is bigger than human size, uh, Surely we'd be able to find a full skeleton by now, or at least a skull. Ending mileage. 39559.7. 39559.7.